What's up dudes, Max here. So the Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Beta is up right now. You can get this by pre-ordering the game on PlayStation 4 and you get full access to a demo that's going to be up for a limited period of time. There's no practice mode, but there is a training mode and there is an opportunity for you to check out some of the Astral Finishers in a versus mode, of which I have not seen since we played Blaze Blue almost a year and a half, two years ago. So I figured might as well jump in here and kind of rate each super and see what the hell the new ones look like for some of the other characters. So hopefully you enjoy it. This is kind of a callback to a video we did a while back with Blaze Blue. And I'm also spending a bit of time trying to learn the combat system of this game. And we'll put up a video of that in the future. And hopefully jump online for a few matches. As always, dudes, thank you a ton for the thumbs up on the video. And stay tuned at the end as I kind of propose a question for you guys. And what you might like to see in the future. Let me know in the comments below. And enjoy the astral finishers that are currently in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. I think it's the same one. I think this is the, the, the big wing thing I remember seeing a couple years back when we played Blaze Blue. One, two, three. Arctic Dungeon! All right, here we go. Ah, I give it, I give it about a five out of 10. I give it about a five out of 10. It's brief, it's not very cinematic. That one gets about a five out of 10 in my opinion. Down, down, down. There we go. All right, new character. Oh, she's very happy about it. She loves she loves decapitating people. Uh, I give that one about an eight. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. It looked visceral. I thought it was. I thought she was gonna go up into the moon, and then the Mortal Kombat logo was gonna show up, and then you spike him down, and then goes blah 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 blah. But no, none of that happened. There we go. She does Virgil swords. Uh, it, was, uh, it was okay. I think it, I think it definitely looked better than Jin's, but I, I'd still give that one about a six. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. I give that one a seven. I give that one a seven. It it cut to like unique, a unique shot of her doing stuff, and she got all naked in the end, so it gets a seven. There we go. Oh god, I'm gonna take this persona kid. I'm gonna show him the true power of anime <laughs> in space. <laughs> uh. Oh, he emerges from the crater? Okay, yeah, I kind of remember this one. That's a 9 out of 10. That, that, that's a, a, a good, confident 9 out of 10 for, for Tager. I like it. There we go. Ha ha! Oh, God. Oh, this chick is the queen of the animes. She's the queen of... Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Had a bunch of buildup and then it was weak as hell. Getting funky. Wow. Alright. Extra bonus points for the fact that he pretty much did Ragnarok. Uh, I'd give it a seven. I'd give it a seven. I don't like his Mickey Mouse persona, but I'd give it a seven. Terrible. Had an extra shot of him. They pose in the end and shit. That's not, it's not terrible. I'd give it like a seven. Uh, between, I'd say 6.5. With having no information and no history in my brain of these characters, I give it about a 6.5. There we go. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Powers of heaven and earth? Oh, the snake. That's right. Ah, that's a, that's a five. Yeah, that's a five. I wonder what I gave it back in the day. 
Oh god, I was like, please grab her. Please don't not do it. Giant space sword, and it had its own animation. I gotta give this one a seven. I gotta give it a seven. Not... It had its own animation, it had a thing in the end, it looked painful. I'm gonna give it a seven. Maybe I'm being a bit too generous, but I'm giving it... I feel, I feel good about a seven. Oh, got it. Okay, there we go, we got it. Power Stone! Sakura Tyson shit is where Sega to Saturn. Eh. Eh. Ah, it's a five. I'm gonna give that one a five. Oi! Where's he going? Where's she going? She's going to gym class. Ah, not terrible. I like it that they're gone. <laughs> That she kicked them into space. I'm gonna give it a six, but it was really brief. It was super, it was super short. It gets a six. All right, Azrael, I don't remember yours. Let's find out. Oh, he picks up like the earth and chucks your ass. All right, yeah. Okay, he's a Scream Lord as well. Yeah, that gets a 9.5. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's as about as close to perfect as I've seen so far. For Astral Finishers. Got it. Did you get laser swords? It's like a PSO character. Not bad. Hella anime. I give it, I give it about an 8. So give that one about an eight. It had uh, some unique animations and it. it wasn't super flashy, it was kind of generic, but it looked really cool. Got it, that was close. Oh my god. She breaks the moon? This is some fan service ass fan service character. Eight out of ten. Eight, eight out of ten. Ha! Oh wow, he had a startup animation. Blazing sword! And the anime music kicks in? Aw, oh, it was hella undramatic though. Nah. I wanna give that one a six. The anime music kicked in, but nah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a six. There we go, that was close. Artorias, huh? You got a big techno wing? Seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh shit, that looks sick. Did he take his heart? Ah, I thought something more visceral was gonna happen. He just literally hit him with a normal. That pose is super sick, though. This is this is the coolest looking character in this game by all by by all means. Um, I still give it like a seven. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Hmm. It's like, it's like a less interesting version of, of Taggers, who had like, the best one, or one of the best ones. It's like a less interesting version of Taggers, but it's still like, a solid 7. Still like a solid 7, in my opinion. How entertaining would a video be where we go through fighting games and check out like, every character's highest level damaging thing, like their, their max damage like level threes or level fives or whatever, or their uh, their big moves, like the biggest moves they got, and then we essentially go through them and review them, like essentially name the show, rate the super, and then we go back and just watch it and be like, oh, I remember this one. Oh, this one's good. Oh, it's not bad. It almost seems like I would watch that, <laughs> and I would almost watch other people like that play fighting games do the same thing, like rate the super. 
It seems everyone kind of likes that idea. I feel guilty because it's so stupidly easy. It's like... It's just my thoughts on what's happening on screen. And I... It's like, it's like reaction videos. They're the things that everyone loves so much, but they're so easy to do. It's so weird. Um, anyway, maybe we'll do that in the future.